Hey there, Doc. Dr. Scott Doherty from Cairo Launch coming to you today from Battle Creek, Michigan. And uh, every time I do these videos, I try to uh, find a fun landmark or something cool to see behind me. Uh, but you try it. Go ahead and Google fun landmarks in Battle Creek, Michigan. See what you come up with. Uh, if you don't know, this is called Serial City. Uh, both Kellogg's and Post have their headquarters here. That is downtown uh, Battle Creek, Michigan, right behind me. And uh, pretty much every building in downtown has the name Kellogg on it. Now, you and I might have uh, different ideas about the nutritional value of uh, cereal, but if you're anywhere close to my age, you'll at least agree that uh, you grew up with Tony the Tiger. You just loved... They're uh... good! Oh, I better get that adjusted. And today I want to talk to you about uh, leadership, because that's one thing in my travels that I see separates very successful practices from practices that are struggling or not doing so well. Um, and the one thing that separates them is <laughs> leaders. Um, really successful practices tend to have great leaders at the front. So, so today I want to talk about the six qualities of a great leader. Uh, what really helps them to develop a team, to lead a team, uh, to have a very successful practice. So first, number one, is that they have a vision. Great leaders always have a vision for what they want their practice to look like, and they share it with their team. They have it written down. They've, they've put some long-term thought into what they want their practice to look like. Uh, where there is no vision, there is no leadership. So number one factor uh, of a great leader is you have to have a vision first. Number two is you have to invite others into that vision with you. Uh, it doesn't do you any good just to have the vision yourself. You have to share it with other people. In fact, it's even better, I've found, if you allow the people around you to help you create it. People will be more involved in a vision than they help to create. Now, it's your vision. It's your practice. Uh, but it's always great to get other people's input and kind of put it in there to, to develop that vision. But invite others to share that uh, vision with you. Third factor uh, of a great leader is that they actually become their message. They, they, they embody that vision. Uh, they have integrity in their actions. Uh, they work hard at striving towards that thing. You can't have a vision, invite other people to get into it, and then go, then your actions don't go anywhere near moving you towards that vision. So you have to have integrity. You have to become that message. You have to embody everything that it entails. Fourth factor is you have to entrust the people around you. Uh, you've got to delegate some of these responsibilities. Uh, too often I see people that want to be a good leader, uh, but they give just a little bit of responsibility to somebody and then they quickly snatch it back when something doesn't go quite right. You've got to allow some people to make some mistakes. Uh, you've got to kind of make your way towards that goal, uh, but you're never going to get there alone. You've got to have people. So entrust in them, give them the tools that they need to succeed. Training has to be consistent, uh, and then trust them to do their job in order for you to get the success you want. Number five is you have to give constant feedback, guidance, and support. Uh, constantly be evaluating their performance. Again, that doesn't say take the task away from them like we talked about in number four. Uh, it simply means evaluate them, help them, give them more tools if they need them, uh, support them, give them guidance, give them feedback. Always be evaluating that performance. You have to keep your finger right on that pulse. See if you're succeeding, if you're move, moving towards your goals, and if not, again, you've got to adapt your way. Uh, if you're a little bit off course, get it back on course towards that goal. And the sixth, sixth <laughs> factor uh, of a good leader is that you need to lift your team up. You have to constantly be a, a source of encouragement for those people around you that you've entrusted to help you uh, uh, reach your vision. Uh, whether that's just a pat on the back, whether it's a, you know, a word of encouragement, or whether it's uh, financial for that person. You've got to find out what makes every person on your team tick. Constantly be encouraging them, lifting them up, motivating them. Too often I see uh, docs that have this vision and they're moving towards it. Uh, and they've shared it with their team, but they're getting all the rewards. They're uh, you know, driving a nice new car, having a nice new house. Meanwhile, the staff is kind of grumbling about it. They, they see that we're seeing more people, uh, that we're helping more people, but they're not benefiting from it at all. And again, sometimes it doesn't have to be financial. You just have to show that they're, they're wanted and they're, you have to encourage them. So share that encouragement with them as you move towards that goal. Uh, take all these six factors, uh, qualities of a good leader uh, to heart. Lead your team, Doc. Uh, as you strive towards that goal, towards that vision, you need your team behind you. You need, you need them supporting you. And the only way they're going to do that is if you support them. So my time here in Serial City is done. I actually heading over to the airport right now to, to head on out of here and head home. 
just remember what I told you, one of the biggest things about uh, successful practices is that as leaders, the doctors, they're great. And uh, take that to heart, be a great leader in your practice, and you'll see the results, I promise you. Hey there, Doc. Uh, as I'm sure you know by now, I travel all over the country. Uh, and I don't do it just to make these fun videos for you. Uh, I'm out on these, uh, this tour because I do these uh, really, really cool practice evaluations. Uh, almost everyone I do, the doctor says, you know, I've always wanted a consultant to come into my practice, kind of see what I was doing. Well, that's exactly what I do. Uh, I actually, as I'm traveling around, I come into your practice, uh, I meet you, you give me a tour of your facility, uh, you also start talking, you know, we go over your stats together, your marketing, talk about your goals, uh, and I actually design a strategic action plan of what you should do in your practice over the next three, six, ten months, whatever I think it's going to take for you to reach your goal. Uh, and I do these at a very, very low price. I'm sure there's a link down below somewhere. Uh, if you're on my blog, it should be right down there or it might be over in the sidebar. Uh, if you're on YouTube, it's definitely in the description. So go check that out. Check out my schedule. See when I'm going to be in your area. Um, shoot me a message. Contact me in some way. And uh, maybe we can schedule for me to come in. Do that evaluation for your practice. Lay out a, a strategic action plan for you to make sure that you hit your goals next year. Uh, if so, I'd love to work with you. Uh, I love doing these evaluations. It's actually what really keeps my, my brain sharp. Uh, I love figuring that stuff out for people, obviously. I love finding that for my clients. I would love to find it for you. Uh, if I can help you in any way, let me know.